Hey guys, today's video is going to be a talk through voiceover thing of me jumping Lacey through a grid. Um, I have to say, I wasn't riding great in this, disclaimer, don't expect anything amazing <laughs> because it's not it's not the best riding I've ever done and having too much of like a donut day I was just like blah, 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 we're going up to a jump ha 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 however there was also lots of tyke which you will see so basically the grid was set up um as a pole on the ground like a ground line on a trot stride to a cross pole then a short one stride to an upright so that's about six and a bit of my steps and then from the upright, it was a long one, well, a normal one stride. So between seven and eight of my steps to an oxer. And that sort of grid encourages them to jump up and then um, like up on the upright uh, and out over the oxer. And obviously the cross pole encourages more bascule and it also helps me to ride straight. Lacey found all of it quite hard, as you'll see. Um, I just didn't support her very well through the turns either, especially like on the exit of the grid, which you'll see that. Um, but otherwise, uh, I was really pleased with it. She did improve as she went on. She just found it where she's an older horse and she's not necessarily as athletic. She found it a lot harder to like make the shorter stride and still have enough push for the oxer um but i am pleased like it you know i'm pleased because before she would have gone like a bat of hell just be like ah! and, like galloped through it um but we don't do that anymore so we are we're getting that we're getting that any case enjoy the video I hope you love it or hate it. I don't know. We all have an extreme one end of the scale here. Yay! So here I am having a little trotty trot round to my first time down the grid. I'll get it on video. Oh, you are you going? Uh, that wasn't so bad. She was a bit like sketchy, but here you see no inside leg support no consistent contact on her outside shoulder which was why she was so like blah, 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 through that turn and there she just wants to spring off into canter oh and this is just you know again no outside shoulder support not enough inside leg she does do that often when she's quite excited um but i just about managed to put her back together around this <clears throat> i'm sorry i'm sick so again, um, she swung out a little bit through her back end down there, which led to the crooked jump and the exit of that time wasn't so bad because I kind of took her by surprise by turning her the other way. That's not something I'd recommend doing. Um, you should have really decided which way you're going to turn as you're coming into the grid. But you know me, late planning. This next time through was so much better. But again, I didn't keep her straight enough on the exit and you'll notice she went disunited around that corner. That's because she's weak on a hind leg, but I could have held her together a bit more. Now we have the second element of the grid up, which is the little upright. <laughs> so coming into this, um, I should have had a little bit more trot. She was slightly behind my leg and then she goes, uh, no. <laughs> Luckily, uh, I managed to get my leg on in time to save it. Uh, I was just like, there's no way you are going to stop at this. Um, and it did kind of take me by surprise, not going to lie. I sort of had drifted off to sleep and gave her the benefit of a doubt a bit. And I shouldn't have done that. And again, uh, I should have been a little bit more prepared <laughs> than what I was. Uh, yeah, that was just really embarrassing and super cringy. Hey ho. Uh, but this one is obviously the absolute worst. Yeah. Yeah. That was just terrible for me. I should have rammed my leg on, sat up and sent her over that fence. 
uh, but I didn't. Thankfully, I did save it through her, uh, and she came out very straight, which was shocking considering how I'd ridden three seconds before that. So I came to the grid as it was one more time just to instill the positiveness that was my go through it before that. Um, and again, she was really good. So I was really pleased with that one. So now um, the last jump of the grid is up. Uh, you already see like Lacey's a bit more awake from that. Um, and so am I actually. She's just going a bit more forward. There's a bit more like sparkle in her movement. She's much straighter down the grid. She's between my legs now. Finding it hard to pick up for that upright, but she goes beautifully over that oxer. You'll see on this time through um, that I almost, almost lose her through her left shoulder coming around here just before, yeah, oh. Um, and she still had that second pole, but that's more of an agility thing. And I was really pleased with the push she was giving the oxer. So to finish, I'm just going to ram a clip of me and Finley going through that same grid um, earlier that day, except it's up a bit, it's a little bit bigger, um, just to show a horse that's a bit more agile and adjustable going through it and what it should look like. You really see him sit back on his hocks before the upright um, and then push for that oxer. And you'll see the, like, that his back end is just insane over a fence. Um, and it really, really helps them get that push and that lift. So definitely recommend this word if you want help with encouraging your horse to bascule and make a shape more. Um, yeah, I had so much fun on both of them. Um, I was really pleased with how Lacey went. I felt it ended on like a really good note. Uh, and that's why I called it a day. Um, definitely don't overdo your grip work sessions. That's one thing I'll say, like it's really, easy to get carried away and thinking like oh yeah they're going really well I'll just put it up and up and up but just remember like rib work is as much for their confidence as it is for yours and it's hard work on their bodies so don't like don't hammer them through them um yeah that's that's all I want to say I think I guess yeah okay so goodbye have have a nice life <laughs>